What is going on, everybody? Uh, I'm thrilled to be back here. Uh, I know it's been a while since you've seen me on YouTube, and that is because I've been quite busy. Quite busy uh, with all kinds of stuff, but also with writing a book, which is now finally uh, released. I finished it. I actually finished a project. It's amazing. Um, the book is called The Software Developer's Guide to Linux. It is here, and it is available now on Amazon and pretty much everywhere else, um, including O'Reilly books online, which is dope if you want to just like check it out. Um, the subtitle is, it's a practical, no-nonsense guide to using the Linux command line and utilities as a software developer. So it is targeted at software developers, but it certainly contains information of interest uh, for really anybody using Linux who wants to learn more practical skills. You know, this YouTube channel is very practical focused. Um, and I don't like to do, I mean, you, look, this is not 600 pages of Linux theory um, and then one exercise at the end. It is basically all practical stuff that you're actually interacting with as you're learning it, that you're running on the command line um, so that you actually remember it. Um, it is not, you know, there's enough 600 page tomes about becoming a Linux sysadmin and lin learning Linux internals. Um, those are amazing for when that's what you want to do. But I think a lot of people could really up their game as a developer or um, even just as an admin or a DevOps person or an SRE or whatever um, by just getting better at the practical aspects of Linux. And of course, there is some theory in there. I think you, you, can't, you can't just skip the theory. Um, but you'll do a bunch of really interesting projects as you're learning. So not only are you typing everything in on the command line and getting good at that, but um, for example, in, in one chapter, we do a, a sort of like poor man's GitHub, right? So it's like, GitHub for you and your friends, self-hosted, you know, secured over SSH to your server. Um, that's a nice little project. Um, you'll, you'll learn how to containerize uh, a Python application. It can be kind of a painful process. Um, learning how to work with kind of Linux in the environments that you'll find it, even if you're not a Linux admin, if you're a developer or something, right? Inside of a Docker container or troubleshooting a server at two in the morning. So. There are a bunch more projects uh, where that came from, and I will look up some of them, of which I have a list here momentarily. You'll be creating your own systemd service. Um, you'll set up and secure SSH on a remote server. You'll learn how to compile software on Linux. Um, and you know, like if you just have a bunch of C code, turn that into uh, an application um, when there's no install scripts or pre-made packages through the, through a package repository, just getting you comfortable with these many kind of like common Linux situations that you'll run into, um, so that you know what to do, or you have some instinct of what to look up. That's the other thing about this book. Um, it's made to be easily, um, kind of parsable from the, uh, from the index, uh, from the table of contents. And I guess the index would be at the end. Listen, books, who knows how they work. Uh, from the table of contents, you should be able to like, kind of like scan whatever you need. You're like, oh, I need something on Xargs. Like, bam, you'll find it. Go to that page, have a little intro to Xargs. Um, again, we're going into a lot of different topics in this book. And it's, I, I'm trying to get you the most bang for like the time you invest. Um, kind of like everything on this channel. So uh, if that sounds interesting to you, if this channel has ever helped you, um, you know, get a job or prepare for interviews or whatever, and you want to like kind of pay it back. Uh, this is a chance because to appease the AI machine God, we must purchase as many copies of this as humanly possible. Um, and genuinely, I think it'll be useful for anyone who is working on in or around Linux, however, tangentially. Um, so if that's you, or if that just sounds interesting to you, have a look. If you've got access to uh, O'Reilly books online or somewhere where you can actually like check out the book, uh, before purchasing, please do so. Um, and I'm interested to know what you think. Uh, the reviews are pretty good so far, even from people that are not my personal friends. So I'm thrilled. I hope, I hope, I hope that me and Chris, uh, created something of, of value. That's what we were trying to do. And we took, we certainly took our damn time doing it. So, uh, yeah, over the next few weeks, uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing individual videos where I, uh, kind of highlight specific portions of the book. I'll take like a little project or a little skill that I teach in there um, and just make a, an instructional video from it. Uh, fairly short and focused. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on and I will see you in the next one. Um, you may now go in forth and spend money on Amazon. Thank you. Peace.